What's up guys, Brittany Michaels, and let me just say I'm so sorry, I know it's been a bit, it's probably been about two weeks, but a little bit of an update, my husband and my daughter and I, we have finally moved into our own spot again, fuck yes, I'm pretty sure you guys would understand, like if you had your own little family and you were living with your family, how the struggle is and how frustrating it is to not have your own, like, have your own place your own foundation like something that's you know you're a little bit of your own i mean technically we're in an apartment but so it's not really our own but at the same time we're paying for it so it's our fucking place so that being said yes you guys we have finally moved and i couldn't be any happier because i'm closer to work our daughter's closer to daycare and it couldn't be any better we're back where we want to be i apologize in advance for the loud noise in the background i'm doing laundry it's laundry day sundays are my laundry days and i'm trying to get it done and aurora is taking a nap right now in the room and my husband has gone out to work so i'm trying to get this video out as fast as i can so bear with me guys i has i apologize um it's story time sunday so i thought i'd do a quick story time this story is about a time my brother and i got chased by a big ass fucking dog and I think that's what caused for me to have my little scare with dogs. Because, y'all, I'm terrified of dogs. Um, I'm slowly getting comfortable with certain dogs. But I will run if I need to. Because I am, I don't know, just that look dogs give you. I get so scared when they slowly start to approach you. And they start barking. I get so freaked out. So this happened when my brother and I were in kindergarten. We had just got dropped off. My mom dropped us off. Afterwards, we would go to daycare. So that morning, my mom dropped us off. And in our minds, we had overheard our mom say, after school, the bus that you're gonna get on, that bus is gonna take you home. And so we're thinking, oh, finally, okay. We don't have to go to daycare. So we're in school. And you know, we're playing whatever, learning, blah, 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 everything you do in school. And it comes to the end of the day. So, you know, that whole day, we're sitting there telling everybody, like, yeah, we get to go straight home after school. We don't have to go to daycare. Woo woo. We were so fucking excited, you guys. So, when we did get on the bus, and we're heading towards our daycare area, we're like looking like, hmm, this does not seem right. Like, why did it go past our house? Mind you guys, we lived right down the street from the house. So if we wanted to go home, technically we could have walked, but the fact that we were in daycare and we were so young, I don't think they would have allowed it. But yeah, I kid you not, we lived right down the street from our school. And so we're on the bus and you know, traveling around and we're noticing, okay, you know, we're still not anywhere near our house. You know, we knew where we lived, so we weren't dumb. We, like, we knew, like, okay, you know, this is supposed to take us to our spot. So then, uh, we noticed that we passed our drop-off for daycare. So we had already been past that, and all the kids were already continuing to get off the bus, and the bus driver was just, like, waiting, like, aren't you guys supposed to be at that stop over there? And we're just like, no, we're actually going home. You know, and she's already at her last stop with the last batch of kids. And she's like, no, sweetie, um, uh, I think you're supposed to be going to daycare. So we're like, well, no, you're supposed to take us home. We're like, just still you know, the, the bus driver, like, you know, you need to take us home, like, not to daycare. And she's telling us, you know, I'm sorry, sweetie, but you guys are going to have to get off here and go to daycare. So where she dropped us off at was at the far end from where our daycare was, right down the road. So we get off and we slowly start walking. Everything's fine, we're a little bummed out and pissed because we were under the assumption that we were gonna be getting dropped off at our freaking home, at home. But no, here we are stuck at fucking daycare and we're just pretty upset and we're walking and my brother's ahead of me a little bit and we're just walking. Then all of a sudden, you know, we hear some barking and I instantly freaked out because when I was a little younger, 
I was petrified, like so petrified of dogs. Like I had never been bitten, but I was just so scared. I was scared of my own dog that we had. And it was a sweet dog, but the barking just always got to me. So the dog's barking and it's behind a fence. And my brother, he like gets closer to me and he's saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay. And then the dog's barking even more and more, you know. <laughs> That was fucking dumb. But um, all of a sudden, the fucking dog popped over the fence. It was one of those really low fences, the, um, the gate fences. It was one of those super freaking low, you guys. The dog hopped right over. And at the time the dog had hopped over, we were already past the house, but we were only like maybe one house past the house. So once that dog hopped over the fence and started barking, you guys, me and my brother started booking it. We was running. He was like leaving me in the fucking dust. And I'm like crying and screaming like, oh my fucking God, what the hell? I'm going to die. So yeah, you guys, we're booking it. I'm crying and screaming because the dog's like right on my ass. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this dog is going to fucking bite me. While I'm saying, bite me, And he's just looking for, looking back at me saying, run, Brittany, run. <laughs> you guys, we finally made it to the daycare. And the daycare later, I guess she, she heard all the ruckus and everything. And um, she came outside and grabbed us. And um, the next door neighbor to her grabbed the dog. And I'm just like crying and screaming, jumping on the daycare lady because I don't want this dog to fucking touch me and that was like probably yeah that was more than likely what started my scariness and fear of fucking dogs small big fat chunky small whatever you want to call it yeah you guys till this day I will never forget that and I'm just thankful that dog never bit me because that shit was scary that wasn't the last time we got chased by a damn dog but yeah, that was definitely the last time we got off at that far end stop. Yeah, we we started getting off at the exact stop we were supposed to because the stop that we were supposed to go was technically right in front of the daycare. But yeah, you, what were we gonna do? We had already gone further away from the daycare, and then we ended up getting our ass, at, we ended up getting our asses chased by a damn dog. What are you gonna do? But yeah, so. That was my short story time, you guys, about getting chased by a fucking dog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for your girl. It's and I'll see you next time. Bye.